haven't had time to keep up with your favorite reality stars. Never fear. Wonderwall.com has rounded up the biggest reality TV news of the week, starting with this revelation, Caroline Manzo's son has turned into a hunk. The eldest son of the former The Real Housewives of New Jersey star. Albi Manzo has been showing off his buff bod on Instagram lately. The 30-year-old made his debut on reality television back in 2009 on the show's first season. And while he was good-looking, he certainly didn't look this chiseled. Albi took to social media to reveal the secret to his sculpted ABS, online classes with core rhythm fitness. He showed off before and after pictures earlier in the summer of 2016. And since then has been proudly flaunting his fit physique for the world to see. You can catch Albi on his mom's housewives spin-off Manzo D with children when the show's third season debuts on Bravo on September 11. Related, Real Housewives kids all grown up Farah Abraham has never been one to apologize. And now she's defending another one of her parenting choices. After Farah posted photos of her seven, year, old daughter Sophia in full makeup on Instagram. Many people criticized her for the age-inappropriate move. Farah opened up on the Allegedly with Theo Vaughn and Matthew Cole Weiss podcast in early August 2016 about how she's also battled her daughter's principal over this issue, and she says she won, though the specifics on that are a little confusing. So I said to them, and I proved my point because then the principal switched schools, I go. Well. Then you should take off your makeup. If you don't want little girls coming to school with makeup then don't wear makeup. Her next point made things more confusing, and then ever since I've seen that principal she hasn't had makeup on her face. Farah added. So which is it? Farah. Did she leave the school or did she stop wearing makeup? Related, reality TV's most shocking scandals at first glance. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg may seem like an odd couple. But the two are teaming up for the VH1 reality series of Our Dreams. Martha and Snoop's dinner party will feature the stars hosting dinner parties with various celebrity guests. And is best explained by Snoop himself. My homegirl Martha and I have a special bond that goes back. We're gonna be cooking. Drinking and having a good time with our exclusive friends. Can't wait for you to see how we roll together. We can't wait either. Snoop. Related, celeb gone are the days of money troubles for Alexis Bellino and husband Jim. The former The Real Housewives of Orange County star went through some widely publicized financial problems earlier this decade. But that was before Jim invested in a trampoline park called Sky Zone. Nowadays. The Bellinos are out of the red and they just proved it by purchasing a new mansion in San Juan Capistrano, California. The price tag for their beautiful new pad. $3.65 million The reality and fashion worlds collided this week. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Lisa Rinna took to Instagram to post photos from a family vacation. Showing off her gorgeous daughters, the two on the left. Amelia and Delilah Hamlin alongside their friends in a black and white photo. But do you spy a famous face with a major tie to modeling? Yep. That's Kaya Gerber. Daughter of Cindy Crawford. Second from the right. Their families have been vacationing at the same lake in Canada for years. So it seems the girls go way. Way back. What a small world. Portia Williams is doing okay now but she had quite a scare earlier in the week. The star of The Real Housewives of Atlanta was hospitalized after collapsing in a parking lot on August 8, 2016. After gasping for air, TMZ reported. Reports circulated that the situation may be similar to what happened in March when the reality star fainted on a plane. That time. It was due to low blood sugar Lala Kent is unrecognizable. The Vanderpump Rules star took to social media to document her cosmetic surgery this week. Showing off fresh Botox. Lip and jawline procedures. Many fans were shocked at the alterations she made to her face. Especially considering that she's only 25. Lala is also making a major career change, 
she made waves in July 2016 when she confirmed that she wouldn't be returning to the hit Bravo reality show. Tweeting I made the decision to leave the show. I realized it isn't for me. IT was completely my decision. Returning Big Brother house guest Devon Rogers was blindsided when she was evicted from the house last week. But since gaining freedom, the reality star has wasted no time in talking to the press. Devon spoke to Us Weekly and had a lot to say about the romances currently going on in the house. The poker dealer from Los Angeles only thinks one showman's in the house has staying power, Nicole and Corey. They connected emotionally. And they are playing the game together. Plus they became pretty physical. Devon teased. Telling fans more than what they've seen on the show so far. As far as her pal Zaki Ya's romance with house guest Polly. Devon doesn't have high hopes for lasting love. He doesn't talk game to her. He doesn't strategize with her. She cries about him all the time. I think it is just a physical connection. Polly is too consumed with the game to get attached. Devon shared. She also doesn't see James' relationship with Natalie going anywhere and thinks he will end up getting hurt again after the show wraps Galnis Ajiji Garachitajai from Shaws of Sunset made headlines this week when she spoke to Entertainment Tonight about her drug addiction. I started using drugs when I was 11, and, a, half. And it kind of progressed very, very fast and I was a full-blown addict before I knew it. Gigi told the outlet. Noting that marijuana and cocaine were her drugs of choice. She has since received treatment for her addictions and is now battling a different beast since being diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis six years ago. The reality star's struggles have inspired her to give back. So she's now working on a charity event with Children's Hospital Los Angeles in order to raise money for those with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis Die Hard Bachelor in Paradise fans may want to avert their eyes. Seriously. Consider this a spoiler alert. The third season of the hit reality show has spawned not one but two engagements. This is a first for the show. But producers aren't exactly thrilled that the news has already leaked. Though they were supposed to go into hiding until the show's finale. Both couples in question haven't been discreet about their love, and gossip sites have already revealed their identities. The happy couples that met in paradise and ended up with rings. Lace Morris and Grant Kemp, and Josh Murray and Amanda Stanton.